All right, welcome everybody to Jimmy and Neil Have Problems, where we talk about our problems. Today's challenge is that there's no automated mind mapping that makes connections you wouldn't see. So we run into this problem a lot because we're always inputting ideas and we want to see how they're connected to the rest of our ideas. And up to this point, there's nothing amazing for it. There's things that have tried it, which we'll talk about. But yeah, as of right now, this is kind of a badly solved, unsolved problem. Yeah, Neil, do you have any thoughts on this? I feel like we, so to give a little backstory, our first attempt at solving this problem was way back when we were just the idea explorers. That was our first name. We were just trying to come up with ideas and connect them. And mm -hmm. so we tried this thing called DevonSphere. And it's like a giant database that you can just throw ideas into. And then it auto suggests connections. I don't really know how it works. You were a little bit more familiar with it right uh -huh. now. Not really. I knew I heard about it in the book where good ideas come from, where he talked oh. about it, you know, just being um yeah, a, a a database where you could, you know, search and it would sort of search loosely. Um that's yes, you're right. Search loosely. Right. That's so, where we started to think about search engines, right? Yep, yep. Search engine cast too wide a net. Yep, yep. Um yeah, but then we, Devon Sphere costs uh, money. Um, yeah, and we didn't really want to. Yeah, it, it didn't quite fit our needs at the time. Um, but I, I think Devon Sphere is like definitely a good solution, if if what I understand of it is yeah. correct. But it's uh, kind of costly, and I believe it's. Uh, it was spelled correctly. Johnson? There was yeah. no N. Oh, um. It was Johnson. I believe it's J-O-N-S-O-N. Oh, well, there was no N. That's yeah, what yeah. I changed the spelling. Yeah. Sorry, folks. I get overzealous. Um, sorry, I'm trying to, uh, verify that. Oh, okay. We can do that later if you want. But yeah. We could also use the... NVM. I, you're right. It's uh, J O H N. So there is proof that I'm a better speller than Neil. Uh, if anyone was wondering, uh, it's not hard to uh, come to that conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty bad at spelling. Um, yep. I'm not much better. I'm just marginally. <laughs> Yep. Um, yeah, and that tangent just knocked me off my train of thought. Yeah, I think you were talking about how much Devon Sphere costs, like that it was oh, a costly, yes, it, yeah. It costs and it's Mac specific. Um, oh, I forgot. Hinders me. Well, and then if you buy a high enough tier, you can use the, the web version, which, yeah. Would have been so nice, but that's, that's a lot. That's sort of why we got off of, you know, the Devon Sphere, you know, option. And then for a while, we, we were just in another database. Do you remember what date? But that was just like a standard database. And then we eventually made it to Obsidian, which, you know, nicely has these tags and backlinks. And um, yeah, so I think um, yeah. Obsidian has some good infrastructure. Yeah. But it it's a very manual infrastructure right if you say mm -hmm. this these two are connected then it will show you those connections but it doesn't you know as this problem states it doesn't automatically do any of that and there's so like there's you can search you know you can say okay what's related you know if we go down yeah. to connections here and we say all right i'm going to type in mind and it'll pull up every article that has mind in the title but you know that's not like super yeah excellent. that's, that's yeah. not automatic that's using your oh yeah an individual's brain as the you know connection as piece. a generator yeah um right so then it's like okay there's nothing for mind but you know i can search brain and that's a, a synonym and as a person i understand that those are very similar um yeah and then Recently, Jimmy found this nice tool, the graph analysis, 
which, which is not working right now it may take a minute mm -hmm. to kick on but generally like it the challenge with graph analysis is it only it walks like the tree of connections that you already have and suggests mm -hmm. new ones so it does automatically make connections you wouldn't see so it fits yeah. the criteria mm -hmm. but i guess that that's one lever is automated right so yep like obsidian's search slash connect is not automatic but mm -hmm. it does allow you to search which yep. is kind of automated quasi yeah, you yeah. know yep so and then there's this graph analysis and these are both kind of things you can do in obsidian and then i'm building something for obsidian which allows us to kind of search based on so the challenge with all this is you have to like come up with connections and so what mm -hmm. i built just recently is something that takes in the title and then tells you what others are connected to that title like automatically so if we say there is no and for those of you who are listening i'm saying there i'm typing in there's no automated mind mapping tool you know whatever um into the terminal and then it'll run a, a python program i wrote and so it's gonna run that against oh permission denied that's really fun perfect i need to change the permission i suppose oh i must have i changed the name i think yep i did that's my bad and i moved it to a new folder i am on it folks i am so on it all right it should run now. So this is using like a natural language processing library to scan through all of the titles in our problems folder. And then it's gonna generate a rating on how similar those titles are. So there's a lot of ways to do this. So far, I'm just literally matching word to word and saying, is this related? Is this related? Is this related? And I'm summing all that up. You can do fancy things like removing everything except for nouns, because nouns like are generally the most related things and that's going to give you the most accurate you know understanding of what's going on that's going to take a while to run so obviously lots of work to be done there but that's the attempt and it spits out a list of file names sorted by how similar they are to mm -hmm. the current one so like there's that's an attempt and i'd love to actually get that built as an obsidian plugin mm -hmm. so we could use that and just it would just pull the current file name and just choo -choo -choo run that. Yeah. But that's like a big work in progress and that's really annoying. So that's why there's something like called napkin. It's one of my favorite like developers slash thinkers is working on and that auto suggests connections by default. So like collect ideas. So it does it, it tries to say serendipity by design. So it, as you're writing one note, it'll pull up related notes, which I think is so fascinating. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think that's a really interesting approach. And it does some things like it labels things automatically via tags, mm -hmm. which is like a categorization natural language processing problem. And, and that's, I just think that's brilliant. Like that's really smart. I'm going to try it out next week and I'll let you all know what I, what I think I'm talking to one of the developers. So mm -hmm. I think that'll be fun. I guess. I had this idea connect this with the thesaurus api i don't even know what i was thinking about that like maybe well, that's i'm guessing that's just like a, a comparison right it's how do you you know if this says car and this says automobile you know oh some way yeah you that, know that'd that be... those are you know very similar and this natural language processing that I'm doing includes a lot I, I think that. it does it behind the scenes oh it's working it's working folks my computer has been dying recently so i think that then this other idea I had was takes text inputs and converts them to markdown i don't even know what i was thinking there i think well, i probably meant some external system that you what could would input. happen if you had um obsidian just have everything be tags right Ooh. like every word be a tag and then you know see what how that what happens in that situation 
and see like how searching through tags mm -hmm. returns. Yeah, that's really interesting. I like that a lot. And well, I think what would be really cool is if you kind of combine the graph analysis plugin with this natural language processing I'm doing and said, okay, first like walk the tree of all connections and yeah. see how related those are. And mm -hmm. then check all files and compare those and see like where nodes might be forming and then really double down on those. Like there's, yeah. there's so much interesting stuff you can do with this. Um, I think thinking about the levers, going back to those, there's automated, I think there's accuracy. Like how accurate is this? Like some of these, like the graph analysis plugin, super easy, automated, not accurate at all. Like requires yeah. a ton of human input, to really think through things. And it looks like my computer has absolutely quit on me. So we will not be able to see the graph analysis, but if you've watched this before, you've seen that happen. So I guess another one in, turn, in addition to accuracy is like compute power. Like machine yeah. learning is really intensive. As you can see over here, like my computer is like literally blowing up trying to just check how similar this title is to other titles like that's not even full text you know like looking through the entire document yeah so to which that's ultimately what we want to do i i almost think we'll have to outsource that to another computer you know yeah like we might have to run that on the cloud or i guess i could buy like a beefy computer I'd, it'd be a reason to get an m1 mac but yeah yeah so there's a lot there i think there's some connections. I wish we could have support from our automated tools here. I really feel their loss right now. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's I don't know. Ironic that you know the this day idea. we're talking about how <laughs> how it struggles, and we've actually got some decent halfway solutions, and we and can't they're use all them. not working. Yeah. Yep. So it looks like connections is not really a thing. Maybe ideation or innovation. Uh, maybe brain writing. Um, because I think brain writing is like a human automation. Like yes. Another approach yeah. to automating this is just to outsource it to humans. Yep. That's a way to, yeah. And that's why we do this as a pair, you know, like, yeah, I, I would not come up with half the ideas I do without Neil. And it's funny because I think something we've come across before is like, can one of us use an idea outside of Gordium? And I've always leaned like, probably not. Even if I feel like I came up with the idea, I wouldn't have come up with it without being in constant interaction with Neil. Mm -hmm. So it's, I think like originality and who came up with an idea is so challenging. Yep. And really yeah. kind of a futile pursuit. Yep. yep. I don't know what your take is on that. I don't think I've actually thrown that your way yet. We've maybe talked about it a little bit. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, we've talked. Yeah. Oh, I, I can't think... hear you. Oh, dear. Can you hear oh, me no. now? My computer has fully imploded. Well, folks, we might have to cut this one short. I'm going to figure out these technical difficulties. And you can refer to the blog for later updates. And yeah, be sure to check out the blog to see how things actually work. All right. Thanks.